Self-control, teaching students about their greatest inner strength. What's the key to health, wealth, and success? You might think it's your looks, your background, or your intelligence. Think again. Self-control is our greatest human strength and the easiest to improve. Just think of your heroes, Mother Teresa, Albert Einstein, Abraham Lincoln, and Nelson Mandela. They had different backgrounds and different skills, but they share one thing in common, self-control. They overcame obstacles, they persevered in the face of failure and frustration, and they worked harder than others to achieve their goals. You might think you're worlds apart from these self-control icons, but I'm here to show you that you have that same ingredient that will help you achieve your goals. What is self-control? It has three parts. Monitoring. How much we keep track of what we're doing. How often you weigh yourself, check your bank balance, or keep track of your grades. Standards. These tell you what's appropriate. Laws tell us how fast we're supposed to drive. They tell us why we should wear a suit instead of flip-flops to a job interview. And they tell us how to live up to our moral ideals. And strength. This is the energy to use self-control. Self-control is fragile. If you use it, you have less energy left over later. Why should we study self-control? Three reasons. Self-control improves individual well-being. People with better self-control have better mental health, better physical health, they get better grades, and they're less likely to struggle with alcohol and drug abuse. To illustrate, one study wanted to see which was more important in predicting success in school, self-control or intelligence. They measured self-control and intelligence at the beginning of the year and then waited patiently to see how well the students did in their classes at the end of the year. The result? Self-control was twice as important as intelligence in predicting academic success. Bullying is a horrible thing to do. You act very mean to your friends. They are mean and vicious. They hurt other people's feelings. I don't really get why they do it. Bullies are just trying to make themselves feel more confident by putting others down. Well, bullies are just kind of scared, so they pick on other people to make them feel less self-conscious. Bullies like attention. It's not something pretty to watch. And then they just make them feel worse and worse until the people just can't take it anymore. Sometimes the bullies can actually just do it because they want to be your friend. If they're doing something else mean to someone else, I think you should just stick up for the other person who's getting bullied. Just stand up for yourself. It's not okay. They shouldn't be happening. You should tell somebody. What's our principal? You shouldn't be afraid. You can stop a bully by getting them help too because bullies were probably once bullied too. I think we should stop bullies by telling like people with high authority that there is bullying going on and it should be stopped. I would just walk away and just tell the adult that's there. I would tell a teacher or the principal or yard I'd say to my friend, let's go play something else. These people are really mean. Once I got bullied and then I just told on the teacher, a week later I saw um, the same bully bullying my sister. So I said, um, stop, and then he still wouldn't stop. So I just um, went to the principal and then he got suspended. He got in trouble and he got suspended. He had to pay the price for something bad that he did. I think bullying really should be stopped. I think bullying is something that should be stopped. You don't have the right to bully. I'm not afraid of you. Stop. Stop. Please stop. Stop it. Dude, what's the point of this? Hi, I'm Gary. And as you can tell, even little kids know it's not right to bully. No one should be bullying anyone. And if you see someone being bullied, or you're being bullied yourself, tell a teacher, the principal, Tell your parents, it's important we all say together, no more bullying. Nobody likes a bully. Nobody. Why is it important to tell the truth? Well, it's important to tell the truth because if you lie, it's just gonna, you're just gonna have to keep lying to stay out of trouble. Like, did you do this? And you're like, no, I didn't do it. When you really did do it, you just keep on lying to stay out of it. You're like, then she said, are you sure you didn't do it? Yes, I'm sure I didn't do it. Someone else had, must have. And then she said, did you do, well, how do you explain this? Oh, it's not true, it's not true. I didn't do that, someone else did. They find out and then you get in big, big trouble. 
Like, if you only lie once, you'll get in big trouble. But I mean, keep on lying, then you're in humongo, you know, you're in for it.